Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today we have a special series, well, not a series, a special episode. We are celebrating Lake Orion graduating seniors and celebrating all seniors. It is graduation season and we have lots of graduates in and around the area. So today joining me, I have a very special guest, Derek Steele. He is a graduating senior from Lake Orion High School. He's also a broadcasting student and has actually been involved in broadcasting his entire school career. So without further ado, let's get Derek on to join us. He's actually in studio with me, so you can see him right now. Hi, Derek. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Doing good. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I forget. I, you know, I do these with somebody at the other end on Instagram yeah. most times. So it's fun to have someone here in studio with me, but I forget that everybody can see both of us right away. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm wearing my, my dragon shirt today. I know you're dressed to head to work after, but I wanted to, uh, to show my support. Um, you know, I have three kids that have got, have, and are going through the Lake Orion schools, um, great school district. And, um, so excited to have you joining us. Glad to be here. Yeah. I know I have known you since you were, you know, we high first, first grade, I think not I, if younger. I think so. Yeah. It's been a while. And it was at stadium drive at it the was. time. It was the school of the arts. And so there were lots of opportunities for broadcasting and being on stage. And you got your career started very early, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. So what made you, like, how did you know or decide, or was it just something fun to do at the time that you wanted to get involved in broadcasting? So back in fifth grade, we were required to have a fifth grade quote unquote job. Uh -huh. No, oh, we yes. didn't get paid. We yep. didn't get paid for right. these. And so um, one of them was to be um, an anchor or, like, help out with our um, daily news show. And so I tried out to be the sports anchor, got it with um, a girl named Kennedy. And so I did that um, in fifth grade. And then once I got to middle school in eighth grade, I did, um, we called it uh, Dragon, not Dragon's Digest, um, something along those lines, something yeah. with, like, dragons or whatever. And so I did that in eighth grade first semester. And then. Now I've been in um, the television production workshop for two years at Lake Orion High School, and it's been been a been a been a ride and a fun yeah. ride. Yes, and I know I've enjoyed seeing you in and around. I've seen you at a lot of the different um, games, sports, you know, sports games, and then even like I said, some of the productions. And your little brother and my son have yep. been friends for ever numerous <laughs> numerous yeah, years many many years and so i know that they were always both very proud when you know they got to see you you know yep. pop up on their screen at school and um you are you're one of those personalities you're just always bubbly happy personable um and you have a voice for broadcasting the coolest so. <laughs> part about it is um you'll be you'll be like how to out and about somewhere like I was at Chili's with my family last week after work one day we went out to eat and um the person bringing our food he's like yeah. I recognize you from somewhere <laughs> and he's like do you go to like we in high school I'm like yeah I do yeah. he's like oh you were on um LOAM which is our um well it used to be daily it's three times a week now um new show yeah and so I would constantly be doing stories I'd anchor I do basically everything with it so just getting recognized like that or um I'm I'm not allowed I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it but I will. Um we got free breakfast at Leo's last year. Nice. Um actually um one of the deputies, Deputy Hammond, his okay. son Ryan Hammond was in TPW a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And so we were wearing our TPW shirts and he recognized the shirts and he paid for mine and my friend's breakfast. Oh, that's very nice. That's awesome. We we have such a great community. We do. I, yeah, everybody, do. you know, takes care of one another and and does great things for each other. That's fantastic. And um so you're graduating this week, right? We yep. have, there's lots of different graduations going on throughout the week uh for Lake Orion and your graduation for the high school is on Thursday, right? Yep. So are you looking forward to that? I am. It's it's really going to be fun being able to see everyone again and yeah. just be able to have that celebration with everyone and be able to look back. And I'm starting to do that with my party. Just look mm -hmm. back over 
the last four years. I was on Instagram earlier today looking at a bunch of old pictures on Instagram. Yeah. And it's just fun being able to look back and be like, how not even how much you've grown, but like the friendships that you still have. Like one of my friends, I look, I saw a picture of him. I'm like, he's grown up so yeah. much. <laughs> Like, I didn't even recognize him. Just think of how it feels for us as (laughs) parents and adults. We look at you, we look at you kids and we're like, wow, you know, just how much you've grown and matured and become wonderful young adults. So I'm very excited for for you and for all of your classmates and congratulations to the class of 2022. And um, so what's next? What's next for you? So I am in the fall. I'm going to Central Michigan. Okay. I am going to um, major in, it's called Broadcast Cinematic, Cinematic Arts there, BCA. Okay. And so I'm going to major in that minor in um, sports management. Awesome. And so um, hopefully one day I'll be able to go. I know I see you at sporting events all the time. Yeah. So hopefully one day <laughs> I will be able to go into that sports realm and be able to do stuff with sports. I've grown up around sports. I love talking about sports. I can talk sports with anybody, anytime, anywhere. Yes, absolutely. Well, just before we came on today, um, we were talking here because we're here, you know, in the Owen TV studios. And Ian, the studio manager, yeah. he was just saying how, you know, you the, your commentating for the soccer game was yeah. fantastic. That that's an actual, which I didn't realize, it's a hard sport to commentate. So with soccer, yeah. with basketball, Basketball, it's nice because there's constant action and mm-hmm. there's stuff. And with basketball, it's so easy to create storylines. Like, oh, this player, I'm going to use college, for example. This yeah. player transferred to uh, um, college. Foster Lawyer played against Mich- his old school, Michigan State, in the round of 64. That's a big storyline. Same thing with football. And especially um, with high school football, there's always storylines because football, as we all know, is a big king sport in mm-hmm. high school. Same with college. Yep. And so there's always those, those storylines to um, come up with. Baseball, I've grown up around baseball, so, like, I know a lot of the baseball players, so for me, it's easy to create those storylines. I did softball um, about a month and a half ago for the first time. Same thing with softball. Like, I know a lot of the players, so it's easy to yeah. create storylines that um, get the players interested in, or not the players, the viewers interested right. in. Right. With soccer, because <laughs> soccer, n- nothing against soccer. Um, I've actually really grown into soccer the last month or so, Um, but with soccer, it's really hard to create those storylines and to keep the viewer engaged because you could you could realistically have a 0-0 game with no action. Right, right. With yeah. hockey, with football, with basketball, with baseball, with all these other sports, volleyball. I did volleyball. <laughs> with volleyball, um, there's, there's at least going to be a little bit of action to get right. excited about for the viewer to get excited about. Soccer, you could have a 0-0 game. And it's not that, right, and it's not just the score, right, and it's not that they're not doing anything. Yeah. It's just – you know, the way they kick the ball and block exactly. it. And yeah, there's a lot. You brought up a really good point in that the storylines, right? Broadcasting isn't just about providing like the facts or, okay, this person scored a goal. Um, it's really, you know, these are all people, right? And individuals behind, you know, they're not just a player. They're a person and they have lives and families and goals. And yep. um, I think that's really fantastic. And that you definitely have a gift for that. And like you said, the storylines and getting to know people so that, you know, you can really share that and help the audience connect with those players. Okay, here's something the viewers don't know or even someone watching a sporting event. So for me, let's say I'm doing a Friday night basketball game, okay? Lake Orient against, we'll say, Rochester Adams. And so preparation for me starts Monday. And it's, okay, how do how has these teams done recently? Um, one of the big storylines for me is Lake Orion's on a five-game winning streak, for example. Rochester Adams won six out of seven. Both of these teams are red hot coming into the game. That's a big storyline. Yeah. Which hot team is going to be the victor tonight? Or let's say um, a big player for Lake Orion this year, Alden Ritt, scored 30 points his last game. How's that going to happen? Or especially in what's nice about league games is, especially in basketball, you play each team in your division twice. Okay. So, like, if our division's us, Clarkston, Adams, Rochester, and Oxford, for example, we play all those teams in our division twice. Mm-hmm. So, if you get the second game, what happened in the first game? Like, I remember it was, um, it was, I think, Berkeley. Yeah, I think it was Berkeley okay. where towards the end of the game, it got a little bit chippy, and one of our players actually tore his ACL, and he was out oh. for the year. Oh. Luckily, he's doing better. He's, he's going to yeah. be back next year as a senior. 
Yes. And um, so that was one of the big storylines is how are these two teams going to come out, especially early when it got chippy and it kind of got unsportsmanlike towards the end. And the the refs know about it because the refs, right. you're going to have a lot They talk. Yep. You're going to have a lot of refs, mm-hmm. the same refs throughout yep. games. So they really get to know the teams. They get to know the coaches. And so how are the refs going to react to that? Are they going to be more strict with – calling fouls and stuff like that so it doesn't get out of hand again. Right. Or with us, or with the boys team next year, we lost to um, Adams in the district finals. Well, I'm 95% sure we play Adams at some point next year. What's that game going to be like? Because I know Adams is losing a lot of really good players, um, and we're obviously losing some of our three out of our five starters, if not more, we're seniors this year. So what's that game going to look like right, next year? Right. So, yeah, so there's that. You can build up, you know, yeah. even though there will be players that are going to step up and it'll be their time to shine. But, yeah, absolutely, drawing in the viewers and and, and bringing – making it personal. Yep. I, I think that's that's awesome. So And you're obviously very passionate at what you do, <laughs> and that definitely helps, you know, when there's so, – Sometimes too passionate, <laughs> but that, well, that's I a different story for yeah, a different day. I don't know if you can be too passionate about it. I mean, you know, that you have the drive, the passion. Like you said, like for one game, for a game that's on a Friday, you start preparing at the beginning Monday. of the week. Yep. And it, it, yeah. it, it really is five days of preparation. And my my note sheets, and I've shown coaches these before, and they're like, how do you get so much notes, especially for high school? Like, yeah. with high school, it's so hard because with college, you have people to go to for information about these players. What high school did they go to? How many star recruit were they out of high school? Stuff like that. Right. Same thing with the pros. What round were they drafted in? Stuff like that. Right. But with high school, it's really hard to find those stats. And so you, you do have to do yeah. digging, and I probably have – 20 different sites I go on, and my note sheet's probably two to two and a half pages long by wow. Friday. Wow, wow. That is, that's a lot of notes, and so you you really get to know the players, and I'm sure you've developed a lot of relationships with them. For sure. Throughout the year. Even with the coaches. So um, our girls our girls basketball team, no, another story time. Yeah. Our girls basketball team, um, they ended up winning districts, and so yes. their districts round was at home. Yep. Friday night game against Rochester, and I still remember this. I was in the student section this game, mm-hmm. and it was a coming off a huge win against Stony Creek. No one expected Lake Orion to beat Stony Creek. We lost to them earlier in the yep. season at Stony Creek, so everyone expected Stony Creek just to devour Lake Orion. Right, yep. And so we ended up beating them. It was an awesome game. And so going into Friday, Rochester, we've already lost to them twice this year. No one expected Lake Orion to beat Rochester. So we were down um, going into halftime by like nine. Well, we had a huge third quarter. We were up by like eight going into the fourth quarter. So long story short, we ended up winning that game. And so I still remember this. We had three people with their arms out. There was like 10 seconds on the clock. I think Rochester called a timeout. They're yelling at the senior section, do not storm the court when we win this game. Do not storm the court. The student section is what, 200, 300 people? <laughs> it's a huge student co- It's a huge student section. Yeah. Well, we – Long story short, we stormed the court. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, the head coach, Bob Bridges, awesome guy, by the yep. way. I, I know Bob. I, I, know Bob. I love yes. Coach Bridges. Yes. He's an amazing guy. And you talk about those relationships. That's a relationship I've really been able to build over the last two years is with Bridges. I was able to go to practices this year. I was able to go into the locker rooms before games and just stuff. Like, and even after games, I was there um, when they beat Adams to move on in districts. Another game no one had us winning, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, back to my point. Bridges finds me. Um, so, you know, we're rushing the court. The team's rushing towards us. Bridges is coming off the bench to celebrate. He finds me, and he runs over to me, gives me the biggest bear hug ever. Aww. And he said, I told you so. I told you we were winning this. <laughs> yeah. Because on Monday, he said to me, we're winning districts at home this year. And he said that to me weeks leading into districts when they came out with the pairings. The MHSA came out with the um, matchups. He said, we're winning districts. We're going through the, yeah. he called it the Rochester Gauntlet because it was Adams, Stony Creek, and <laughs> Rochester High School. So the um, Rochester, yes. the Rochester um, Gauntlet. The gauntlet. <laughs> and so I actually was able to take pictures with um, one of the players, Taylor Dinda, who, I, t- by, the, by yes. the way, is one of your neighbors. He was my neighbor, yes. And so yes. Um, t- I, I had a lot of inside jokes with her mom. But anyway, <laughs> back to my point. I got to take pictures with the trophy and Taylor and like, yeah. It's just, you said, those relationships you start to build. Yes, absolutely. And and those relationships, you're going to carry those on. And I'm sure you're going to continue to follow some of the careers 
um, someone like a Taylor Dinda, you know, once she's, you know, she's going to be playing past high school. And oh, oh, of course. Yes, of course. yes, yes. And and some of the other other players and in, in the sports across the board. Yep. So you have had quite a rich experience in your time at Lake Orion High School. And I'm sure it is a, going to be a bunch of mixed emotions. Um, I remember graduation last year. My my two oldest, you know, yep. um, they graduated. And it is. It's mixed emotions. But I've, I've already broken down into tears oh, um, I'm, multiple times leaving from my broadcasting class. So my last day was yeah. um, May 20th. So it's been about two plus weeks for me. Yeah. And so I was walking out of my broadcasting class last day. And I had to go in for actually the podcast I do, Cheap Seats. Yeah. And so my teacher is like, oh, I'll see you next Tuesday because we had our season finale. And so I'm like, yeah, I'll see you Tuesday. And it's like, I'll say goodbye to you on Tuesday. Yeah. And so it just hit me like, I'm never going to see him again. Aww. And so <laughs> I I walk out of the class to go to my – or I walk out of the room to go to my next class, and I – break down into tears Aww. and it's not like and you know it's like full-on waterworks yeah. <laughs> i'm i'm ugly crying okay and so one of the juniors in the class jameson fanning we call him jamie yeah that's just a nickname we had for him and so um jamie walks out of the class and he says steel come here and so i turn around to see who it is and i see it's jameson and by the way i'm ugly crying <laughs> i'm like i'm so sorry you see, you have to see me like this and so he he stepped out yeah. so he could say goodbye to me Aww. and i'm just, i'm just ugly he's like it's not goodbye it's see you later see you later exactly yes it is it is see you later um it i don't think it's ever really a full on goodbye it changes you're not going to see you know a lot of the people from day to day but you know, like my girls were back and, you know, they still have relationships with with friends from from high school and teachers and they went and ha- helped set up for prom. So they yes. uh, they went and helped did that. So so there will be um, those will continue. And you are on to some exciting things. Like you said, you're heading to CMU. Um, you're heading into broadcasting. You're going to continue on with your passion and what you are excellent at. So um, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll have Thank to you. have you on, you know, after uh, after you go to CMU and you get maybe we'll have you on next an year update. around the same time. Yeah. yeah, we'll get an update and or That'll we could even do one, you know, mid school year. We'll check in with you That'll and we fun. can connect over Instagram. So, well, thank you so much for joining us, Derek. And again, congratulations to all of the seniors, to the graduating class of 2022 at Lake Orion High School and all of the schools around. So thank you for joining us on Tea with Tracy, and we'll see you next Tuesday at 12. Bye-bye.